Hello everyone, this is Carl over at Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all? Today we're going to burnish the edges of the guitar strap straps <laughs> and then we will ink the edges as well. So let's lay it down right quick and we will get started. Let's see what we're at here. There we go. Right there is good. Okay. Simple little process. Not really a big deal. Just get you a dauber. And we will wet these edges right here. Go all the way down like so. Doesn't have to be sopping wet. It just, <clears throat> depending on the distance or the, the project itself, it can be just dampened. Doesn't have to be anything massive. Okay, all we have to do is burnish. I use a canvas rag or a canvas piece of uh, material. I just put it in a piece of wood to, to be able to get it in here to do some burnishing. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> burnishing just takes a little time depending on how big your project is. That's nice. I like to hear the leather kind of popping a little bit. It does really good. Makes that leather nice and slick. And we'll just move on down. Doesn't take too long. Get that leather all heated up and I like to lay, when I'm burnishing, I like this to go down first, the water burnishing. It makes the burnishing or the inking so much more smooth, <clears throat> so much prettier, I think. There's a lot of different ways to ink your edges and burnish your edges. The process, there's so many different ways. Some, some leather crafters like keeping the, the nap of the leather sitting up so they won't water burnish the edge, but I just, I don't know. I found that this has been so much nicer, smoother. Yeah. I mean, that's smooth and pretty already. There we go. Yeah. Nice. So we'll turn it around. Do the same thing. Want to get that leather heated up. That way it sure makes the inking so much smoother. At least I think. Normally, I could take this out onto my, my buffing machine out there that I've made, but small project, water burnish this way, does a really good job, smooths the edges. Like I say, smoother the leather, better the burnishing. Or the inking. Kind of repetitive, but it works. <laughs> A nice, nice rough piece of leather comes out nice and burnished. Pretty smooth edges. There we go. Nice. All right. Let me lay that one up there, and I will move the water. There we go. All right. Now we will put down the burnishing ink, or the edge ink, edge coat. 
gotta have the edge coat. All right, and then we'll get the other one up here. This one's dried. And all right, what we're gonna do is I'm cheating a little bit. Outside, I could use my inking machine, but oh, gotta move, remove my rings and change them over and get them out of the way so I can put the rubber glove on fairly easily. Sorry about that. Um, but with a small project, <clears throat> the way I do it is put the rubber glove on, turn around and do this right here. And then we're, we will begin right about now. Let's see. All I did is dip my finger down in there and we will go start right here and just ink it, burnish it, or ink it, I mean, not burnish it, but. And we'll just rub down the, the edge of the leather all the way down. I like to use one of two inks so far, ink burnishing inks, because I haven't been uh, schooled on any others, but the ones I've got here, this one here is Angelus burnishing ink, but the other one I really like to use is Phoebings. Phoebings gets a little crustier, but it dries quickly. Angelus takes a little longer to dry, but it's a really good, smooth, burnishing ink. All right, let's get this next. We'll go right here. Get to the tip right there. Good thing about the burnishing inks is that they are washable from your fingers. So it's not like the real hard core dye like Phoebe's dye or anything like that, it will go away. <laughs> it will definitely go away off your fingers when you're ready for it to. Just wash your hands with soap and water and it does a wonderful job of getting off of your fingertips or wherever. I do get a little inked up when I'm doing this sometimes. All right, we are basically done. Quick and simple. The next video that'll come up, we will be, um, we will be slicking the edges, number one, and then we will, see I'm getting a mess already. <laughs> We'll be slicking the edges, and then we will also um, hammer the holes in the next video. Now, if I can get all this off of me. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing, and if you haven't, please do. It really helps on our end. Share and ring the bell. Ring the bell for the notifications like and definitely comment comment on what we're doing maybe we can get better maybe we can do some other things and just give us a call or uh, uh the area code 817-903-5415 or legendaryleatherwork.com go to the website if you like some of the stuff out there uh, you can purchase it or just come in and watch the videos and Enjoy the time, and, and hopefully I can help. And if, if so, that's a good thing. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching once again. I'll head out for now. You guys have a good evening.